Qatar has made calls to several nations, including the U.S., as Israel vows to turn Gaza into rubble. Residents mobilized to boycott a popular chain in Qatar. Stick around to find out why. Questions have been raised in Australia after new documents released show coordination in the Qatar Airways dispute. And finally, Max Verstappen makes history in Qatar. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar has been in contact with foreign ministers from the US, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Turkey over the last 24 hours as escalations continue in Gaza. More than 250 Palestinians have been killed since Israel launched a massive operation in Gaza, vowing to turn the besieged strip into rubble. According to the Qatari Foreign Ministry, Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdulrahman Al Thani and US Secretary of State Antony Blinken agreed to remain in close coordination as the violence continues. This comes after Palestine's Hamas movement launched an unprecedented attack on Israel early on Saturday in response to ongoing Israeli aggression against Palestinians. And on that note, social media users in Qatar have rallied to boycott popular chain Pura Vida. The campaign was launched after the owner of the health-focused cafe, Omar Horev, posted an image standing by Israel as it bombed Gaza. In an Instagram story, the Israeli shared an image of the Israeli flag with the slogan, Now and Always, We Stand with the People of Israel. Over in Australia, The Guardian said documents released under Freedom of Information have appeared to show coordination in two letters sent by the government about its controversial decision to reject a Qatar Airways request for extra flights. Transport Minister Catherine King was preparing a letter to inform five Australian women who were suing Qatar Airways for a 2020 incident at a Doha airport about the rejection, while another letter was being simultaneously drafted to formally reject Qatar's appeal for flights. This has sparked questions on a potential connection between the rejection and the incident. And finally, Max Verstappen has become world champion for the third year running. While the Red Bull racer failed to beat McLaren's Oscar Piastri on Saturday, he ultimately clinched the title. Verstappen secured the overall victory with six Grand Prix races to go, etching his name in the Formula One record books. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.